Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Wednesday, January 27th, 2021, and I hope everyone is doing okay. My name is Rose. I like to crochet. I also like yarn. I also like stitch markers. I also like... Uh, I don't like cold weather. Um, <laughs> I, I do live in the Chicagoland area. Um, I do have one daughter. Her nickname is Carrots and we have a zoo and one of the animals in the zoo is a dog and he likes to go out for walks no matter how cold it is. Um, we did have like eight inches of snow yesterday and um, he doesn't care. He still wants to go out and it's like 20 degrees, but whatever. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys are all doing good. Welcome to everyone. I call you guys my friends. I hope that you call me your friend too. Um, just a few admin things before we get started, um, because we are all friends. I like to see what you guys are doing. So come join us on the, in the Facebook group. It's just called Rose Likes Crochet. You have to answer three questions to join. We have a really good time. Um, I think we're coming up on a milestone there, so there might be a giveaway coming up. Um, anyway, there's also Instagram, uh, Rose Likes Crochet. Remember, you can tag me in any, um, like if you have to enter a giveaway, tag me in it because um, I think it's pretty cool I get to see what everyone else is giving away so <laughs> don't forget to do that um, and uh, also uh, I have a Facebook um, business page which is connected to my Instagram so if you're not on Instagram but you are on Facebook follow my Facebook page um, that stuff is the same thing that's on Instagram and finally come and check out my Etsy shop um, I just a couple of days ago released a video of a uh, an Etsy shop update with some really cool stitch markers. Um, and I have been um, on the computer the last couple days searching for more cool charms and beads. So keep an eye out for that. Now remember, anytime I show you guys a bead or a charm or something that you like and you want me to make you in, uh, stitch markers, just send me an email. Um, that way I can uh, file it in my email. If you leave a comment, um, it's hard for me to go back and try and find it. So, but still leave comments on the videos. But if you are interested in specific stitch markers, send me an email. Now, if there was something you saw in the last Etsy shop update and now it's sold out, you can also send me an email. And that way, if I can get more of the same charms, I can write you on a list um, and see if we can get those made for you. Anywho, okay, that's enough. You guys, I have so much stuff to share with you. Okay, the first, I did I did get some happy mail and I went to Joanne Fabrics and I made a few things, but we're gonna go over this, this first thing, which I thought was really cool. So we have one of those stores that, where you can make your own, you can paint your own pottery and they uh, fire it up in the oven for you. And then you get to take home your finished product like two weeks later. So anyway, um, this place is not too far from us and um, I've always asked them if they have a large yarn bowl because I like to use big balls of yarn. <laughs> and anyway, they never, they, they had one once and then they sold it and they haven't gotten it back in. But I did go there the other day with my daughter and her Girl Scout troop. They did have a yarn bowl and it wasn't the big one, but it wasn't a small one. And I painted it. And for those of you who are new, my favorite color is purple. So I'm going to show you. So here is my yarn bowl. And actually, I'll show you the inside first. So it's all purples and a little bit of teal. And then here is the side of the yarn bowl. I just made little designs and I made sure it was all purple because I'm all about the purple. So this is it. So, oh, I wrote, I wrote my name <laughs> and the year on it. So this is my yarn bowl that I made and now it is ready to use. Um, so that was really fun. And then um, I went to Joanne. So I encourage you guys, if you are on Facebook, to join a couple of crochet groups because you can always find like, especially in those yarn haul groups, they always tell you if they find deals. So someone was in one of those yarn haul groups and said they had found some yarn at Joann's and it was like $2.99. And I went to, now let me tell you, my local Joann's is really tiny and they never have anything. So I was at a, in a different town and I stopped at the Joann's and I'm gonna show you what I found. Okay, you guys. So the yarn that the person was talking about in this Facebook group was called Red Heart Roll With It Tweed. 
and she said that she was finding them for $2.99 a cake at her Joann's. So I went to this one Joann's and I did find them and they were all $2.99 a cake. So I'll tell you about them first. So if you're interested um, in this particular type of yarn, you can go and check it out. It is 100% acrylic, 5.29 ounces, 150 grams, 296 yards, 271 meters. It is made in China and it is whoops let's see here it's a number four they recommend a five millimeter knitting needle and a five and a half millimeter crochet hook um, it says buy enough of the same dye lot to complete your project machine wash cold tumble dry low do not bleach do not iron so um i picked up two of each of these colors because for $2.99, I mean, seriously. Okay, this one is called Sunset. And believe it or not, these are both the exact same <laughs> colorway. So I think that this is a known issue. Like I think even the Mandala Tweed, it's the same thing where it's, it's really doesn't kind of match up at all. But it's the same colors for sure. So I got two of this color. And then I got two of this color, which is called Neon. Again, you can see that they really don't look like they match, but they are the same. <laughs> Again, $2.99 each, I'm not gonna complain. And then you guys know I had to find the purple ones. So this one is called Berry Blush. And they had more than two of each color and none of them were exactly the same. So I just did the best I could. So two of those. They also had another one of these Red Heart Super Saver in Ocean. This was on clearance for $1.47. And I got some beads. So again, if anyone is interested in stitch markers from these, send me an email. Um, let me get a piece of paper so I can show you what they look like. Okay, I'm just gonna use the back of this box so I can show you guys. Okay, so there are some doggies and dog bones. I thought those were adorable. And then here are some peppermints. Those probably won't be made until, I don't know, holiday time. And then I got, I don't know if you guys can even see those. Maybe I should get closer. Let me see, what are those? It looks like those are foxes. It's hard to see because it's like jiggling there. Um, I found these really pretty butterflies. Um, I found... I thought these were pretty. You guys, I'm Jewish, but I don't really care because those crosses are really, really pretty. Um, I got some plain beads. I picked up these elephants, which are really, really cute. Oh my gosh, I wish they would stop shaking. Um, elephants. I picked up some of these peacock feathers. And I also picked up these toucans. I've had these before in my shop and they sold out. And I also picked up some more of these, which are the four leaf clovers and the three leaf clovers. And I actually still have some of those in my shop right now. So if you guys are interested in those, I do have those for sale. So that's all I got at Joann's, but I thought that was exciting to get those cakes for $2.99. Okay, so let me tell you about something that I ordered on Etsy. Okay, so this big white box <laughs> that I just now held up. Um, so if you guys don't know this person, and I, everyone that I talk about that has a YouTube channel, I will link down below in the description box. Um, but I watched this lady, her name is Angie Bell, and the name of her channel is called My Fairy Treasures. Now she's a knitter, but she loves yarn, and she also does a lot of Dollar Tree hauls, which um, for some reason I'm obsessed with those. Um, and she also is an artist. And follow her on Instagram if you can. She was posting some of her um, journals that she makes on Instagram that she had them for sale in her Etsy shop. So I went in her Etsy shop and I bought one. So let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so just so you guys know, um, Angie doesn't know me from a hole in the ground um, because my Etsy username is not my channel name. So anyway, I didn't get any special treatment or anything, but um, so I don't remember how much this was. Let me see if it says, it doesn't say how much it was, but it was, oh yeah, $7.97. It's very inexpensive and it's so pretty. And what she does is she does the artwork and then she tapes it to the top of a, a notebook. And it is so pretty. Look at this, you guys. She is just phenomenal. 
it's gorgeous. So this is gonna be my new YouTube journal unless my child steals it and she's, um, she's, she's over there on the couch and she's got her hand held out. So it looks like I might lose this. <laughs> um, anyway, so I want you guys to go check out Angie Bell. She, her channel is called My Fairy Treasures and she is just, and she's gorgeous too. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so, so much for that. Um, so um, I have a secret crush on her. She doesn't know it, but um, so Angie Bell, thank you for the beautiful work. And um, I think I need to order another one now because I just lost that one. Anyway, okay guys. So the next thing I'll do is I'll do a little bit of happy mail. I got a card and this is from Made by Marsha Mom. Marsha, hi Marsha. Now the kick with Marsha is whenever you get a card from her, you have to be careful because usually she puts little doodads inside her card and when you open it up, everything flies out. So I'm gonna be careful with this one, hang on. Okay, here's the card. It's a Valentine's Day card. Sending love your way. By the way, she makes all these cards homemade. Marsha, you do a beautiful job. Oh my God, it's so cute. And then, yes, there are little hearts in here. <laughs> oh, and she gave me some stitch markers. Okay, so here, I'm gonna show you guys all the little confetti that's in here. So here's a stitch marker, not a stitch marker, a book marker. So there's one and there is another one and she's got, oh, did you make these homemade too? These are so pretty. <gasps> Marsha, thank you so, so much. She's got a little tag in there that says Happy Valentine's Day. And then she's got, okay, she's got all of this confetti in there. <laughs> you got me, Marsha. So she says, hello, ladies, just spreading some sunshine and love again. I've enclosed a bookmark for each of you. You can decide which is for who. You're both beautiful and you're both fabulous. She's talking about me and my daughter. And she says, anyways, hope this finds you both happy and healthy. Love, hugs, and kisses from Marsha. Marsha, thank you so much for the bookmarks. I think that I'll get my first choice on this one. Um, so I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Okay, so the next happy mail, and this is from Jennifer Spain, and she is from Ohio. And there's no note in the box, and there's all kinds of yarn. Oh my God. And there are some, oh, you know what? Maybe this, it may, I think, you know who I think this is? This is Jennifer from uh, Jedi Dragoon, but I'm gonna double check that. Um, so she sent me some yarn. So I got a Bernat Value Stripe, and it's all purples. Thank you, Jennifer. And then she sent me this beautiful ice yarn. Oh my gosh. You guys, I just made a hat and a cowl with this exact same yarn. Oh, this is so pretty. Let me see if I can tell you what it's called. It's called Rosetto. And I'm pretty sure there's no color number or color name on it. No. Um, she sent me one. Oh, that's different. Maybe it's Okay, one, two, three. So three of these. And then she sent the same style, but a different color. This one has like a little bit of orange in it. So three of those. And then holy mackerel, is that pretty. Oh, look at that. This is called Picasso from Ice Yarns. And she sent me two of those. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. It's like sparkly, shiny. Yes, oh wow, Jennifer, thank you. And then she sent a little bag. And this, it looks like there are some beads in here. Oh my goodness, okay, so can you guys see all the beads? Wow, okay, there's some really pretty beads in here and some charms. Um, oh, there's like a cookie. <laughs> Oh my gosh, these are so cute and so pretty. Oh look, there's a little M&M. You, you guys probably can't see that. There you go, a little M&M. So Jennifer, thank you so, so much. Um, I will link her YouTube channel down below. Again, I believe this is Jennifer from Jedi Dragoon. So Jennifer, thank you so much for the yarn. I appreciate it and the little beads. Thank you so much. Okay, I got one more happy meal, guys. 
All right, so this last happy mail is from someone we all know and love. Her name is Debbie, and she's the Canadian crotcheter. And she messaged me and said, hey, I know it's your birthday coming up, and I want to get you something. And I was like, um, no. And she's like, um, yes. <laughs> so she sent me this box, and um, she it came the other day, and she texted me as soon as it came. And she said, I said, do you want me to open it now or do you want me to wait until my birthday? And she said, you can do whatever you want. And I said, okay, so I wasn't going to open it. So then like a half an hour later, she sends me back another text message and she says, can you just open it now, please? <laughs> So I did, I opened it, and I'm not gonna tell you guys when my birthday is, but anyway, she says it's my birthday present, and it is an entire bag of charms and beads. So anyway, I opened it, um, so I've already seen these, and they're really, really cute, and some of them are just beads, and she did a great job of picking them out. Again, if you want any of these as stitch markers, let me know, but I'll show you the beads first. So there are just some blue beads and some silver silver and like iridescent and my favorite color purple and some really really it's hard to see them through the bag but they're really pretty those blue ones here is a bag full of like rainbow beads here is again my favorite color like an assortment of purple oh my gosh these you guys are hard to see but these are little bats Oh my gosh, how cute. These are little mushrooms. Okay, they're not little, they're big, but they're mushrooms. Here are some cupcakes. Oh my gosh. Wait, you guys, check that out. Rubber duckies. Okay, could you go wrong with rubber duckies? Looks like those are little gummy bears. And then here are some kitty cats. Here are some, like, I don't know, sweets. There's pizza and cookies and cakes. <laughs> Here are some teacups with kitty cats in them. Here are a couple of flamingos. And then I also have some of these uh, USA hearts. And finally, she sent me a couple of these little llamas. How cute. So Debbie, the Canadian crotcheter, I love you so much and I appreciate you and you didn't have to send me all that stuff. And I will be using those as um, stitch markers in my shop. So that's really exciting. Oh, and by the way, Carrot says that she loves you too because you fill her up on sweets. <laughs> so thank you so, so much, Debbie, for the early birthday present. I really, really appreciate it. You didn't have to do that. <clears throat> And you do get first dibs on any of those made into stitch markers. So please let me know if you want any of those. She wouldn't respond to me when I asked her the first time. So let me know, Debbie. Okay, so I have a couple finished objects now. And then I think that, and then I have a test pattern that I want to show you guys. So hang on a second. Okay, so in the last video where I showed you guys finished objects, I had made a um, ski mask. And uh, the pattern is from Bag o Day, and I will link the pattern or the video tutorial in the description box. And I did exactly the way she said it, and it turned out a little bit too big. So I made another one, and here is my new ski mask. <laughs> Now, it might be a little stretched out because I have worn it every day for the past week, um, but here it is, and this, I went down one hook size, um, so uh, the original pattern was made with a J hook, which is a six millimeter, and I went down to a 5.5 millimeter. Now, I think I might even try it again using a five millimeter hook. Um, because it did stretch out a little bit. So anyway, so here it is, and I won't try it on, um, but it's just a ski mask, but I'll tell you what yarn I used. So I um, ordered some yarn from H Hobby, and um, I wanted to try this, and the reason I wanted to try this particular yarn, but the reason it's two colors is because I didn't have enough of one color. <laughs> but anyway, it is this Hobby Starlight, Soft Starlight, and it's reflective yarn. The reason I wanted to use the reflective yarn is because I walk my dog at night and that way people, he is a, an LED collar, but I also wanted people to see me if their um, headlights reflected on my hat. So anyway, it's called Soft Starlight and I only bought two of each of these colors. 
So I bought two of the pink and two of this gray color, and I wound up using almost every single last bit of four skeins to make this ski hat. Now remember you guys, a ski hat has all of this extra material, so you will need more yarn to make this than you would a normal hat. Um, let me see if I could tell you what the colors were. One of them was color, the pink was color 19, and the gray was color three. So um, that is a finished product. And I'll actually insert a picture of what it looks like right here. Okay, really quick, I showed you guys this in my last video. I had made some Call the Midwife blankets and someone, one of you fabulous people left me a comment that I should put a border on it and she recommended, I don't remember who she recommended, but I didn't follow that tutorial. I just added um, two double crochet border or rounds of double crochet. And so these were already complete. I just added the border to these. So I added the border on this one and I added the border on this one. So I'll insert pictures of these with the borders on them. So here you go. All right, you guys. So the last finished object I have that's not a test pattern is something I talk about all the time. It is um, a tutorial by Z, who is Zelda NRJ3. Hi, Z. And she has a video tutorial for the lovey blanket pattern that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to tell you why I did all of these loveys. Um, the first reason is WINGS, which is the domestic violence organization that this channel is supporting in 2021, has agreed to let us support them again um, this year. We did it last year. We're doing it again. For each month, they are going to have specific items that they want us to send. And for February, their items were stuffed animals that they could put into Easter baskets. Um, for those of you who know me at all, I cannot do an amigurumi to save my life, okay? So <laughs> so I did ask her if we could um, if we could um, do lovies. So if we could, you know, I showed her a picture of what it was and I asked her if she would accept them and she said yes. So I was at Walmart about uh, a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, and they had all of their Valentine's Day stuffed animals out for sale. And I bought like, I don't know, 10 of them. I'll show you all of them now. And I figured since I can't make amigurumi, I was going to make all these guys into lovies and donate them to wings. So this is the first one. So for those of you who are new and don't know about these lovies, these are uh, basically a stuffed animal. It can be any stuffed animal that you want. So this is just a regular stuffed animal. And then you make um, a blanket. You crochet around a hair, uh, hair, hair elastic, and then this can be taken off and can be washed. And so you just take it and put it over the head of the stuffed animal, and it turns into a lovey. So I wanted to make sure that I contributed every month to Wings. And since I cannot do amigurumi, this was my way of, kind of contributing. <laughs> All right, so here's the first one. By the way, you guys, these were like $3 each at Walmart. So here's one. Here is another one. I like them to have, there we go. So there's another one. And then I found this beauty and I mean some of these are just so sweet you guys look at that who wouldn't want that in their Easter basket I know it's like a Valentine's Day thing but seriously look at how cute all right and then we have a couple more so there's that one and then we have this puppy and then I found this purple guy and I also found this cute little dinosaur. 
So these will, you'll see these again, cause I'll show you guys these in my wings video. A lot of people don't watch the wings videos anyway. So those, those are my contribution to wings for February. Okay. Last thing I promise is I was asked by Crystal at Chronically Crocheting if I could test something for her and it is a hooded pocket shawl. Now I don't think she's released it yet. She's still in the process of testing it. And so I just want to show you guys, I'm not going to go into detail because it will be a paid pattern. Um, she, I've been in communication with her, um, talking with her about um, how, how it's going and it's going pretty well. Um, the yarn that I decided to use for mine was Super Saver Ombre from Red Heart. And the in the pattern, she says you can line the pockets with fur, you can put on a hood, you can line the hood, you can do all kinds of things. Um, now, I decided not to line the pockets uh, with fur or trim the pockets, but I do want to show you guys. Um, it's it's kind of hard to see it unless it's on. So here is the hood part. And then I'm just gonna show you my pockets. And I actually had Carrots try this on for me. And I took some pictures of her. Oh, and she waves hi. And so um, I can't really say much about the pattern because it's not released yet, but I'm gonna tell you it is an amazing pattern. Crystal, you did a great job. And I'm gonna put in some pictures of Carrots wearing this pocket shawl. So that's it, guys. I mean, that was like a lot of stuff in a small amount of time. Um, I do have more stuff, but I'm going to save that for the next video. Um, we need to have a giveaway really, really soon because I think we're ov way over 10,000 subscribers and we never did a giveaway. So we got to do that soon. Anyway, that's it, you guys. Happy hump day because it's Wednesday. If you're not watching this on Wednesday, happy day, whatever it is. And I will see you guys in a couple of days. Talk to you later. Bye.